This video demonstration is brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with the Craft Robo. For more information visit www.graftechgb.com forward slash craft robo. Hi my name is Kate Hemmings and I'm pleased to welcome you to a special project video demonstration brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with Graft Tech. I'm joined by Kirsty Wiseman, who's going to be showing us how to weld shapes using the Craft Robo Light. Hi, Kirsty. Hi, Kate. So, what's a welded shape? Welded shape is any shapes that you've got on your screen. You could have a combination of two, three, four, five, or six, and you weld them together to make another shape. Okay. So, what are you going to be showing us today? I'm going to show you um, how to make scallops. Just you, they're very simple, but they're very much in vogue in crafting the scallops. Definitely. And they're very hard to cut out with a big die cutting machine as well, because you want some that reach across the whole of the page. So, the best and easiest way to do it on the Craft Robo Master software is to draw circles and merge them together. Okay, I'm going to grab my select, sorry, my circle tool here and I'm going to draw a circle. Okay. You, want the, you want to keep the circles the same size for your scallop. I've, can you see these ones here? I've done a big scallop and a little scallop. Yep. So we've, I'm going to do um, a scallop this size. What you need to do is copy and paste as many circles will, that will fit across the length of the page. So we'll go to edit, copy, edit, paste. Okay. It's gone yellow. That will tell you there's a shape underneath it. Yep. And to keep them in line, just hold your shift tool down. It, it'll stop you from moving up and down. Okay? Oh, okay. It will keep it in a straight line. And I want to weld it about there. If you want a tight scallop, uh, move them closer together. If you want a wide scallop, Keep it as long as they're touching and overlapping. There we go. Then what I will do is rather than doing another circle and um, overlapping again, I'm going to select two of them so that it'll t um, speed it up for you. So we'll go to edit and copy, edit and paste. So there's two circles there. Oh, I see. And it will move it across for you. And you can pretty much gauge whether you've got them in line yeah. by the, the size of these little shapes here. All right. Rather than do a whole page, I'll just for quick demonstration purposes, to weld these together, you need to select all the shapes that you want to fit together. Okay. Okay. It will highlight them all. And you click the weld tool. <gasps> Magic. You've got a scallop. Look at that in seconds. Too easy. So are we going to print some of these out now? Like cut yeah, them out we'll, we'll print them out. I'll delete this one here and we'll cut these two out now. And it just shows how smooth and how sleek that they are to cut together. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that my media is stuck down nice and firm so it doesn't come undone. <clears throat> Put it against the guideline. Press enter to feed it into the machine. Okay. Always close the lid. We'll go to the cutting tool. One copy. OK. We've established that it's thick media. That tells us we need the yellow blade. Double check. Yep, yep. we've got the yellow blade. We'll go to next. We're using the landscape orientation, so we just click next. It's all very simple to, to read all the information. It's, it's just pretty much a, a case of just pressing next, 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 and okay. next. OK. So we'll go to next again and, and cut. Um, yeah, are we sure we want to cut that? We're of course. Definitely sure. Okay, we're happy that we've cut that out. We press enter to eject. Mark has been coming out already. How lovely and pretty yeah, perfect, is this? perfect, isn't it? So you can imagine edging that on your card. You can cut that in half to make two scallop edge borders. Nice borders. And the little tiny ones, they're so delicate and so pretty. Uh, I think this is fast becoming one of my favourite shapes. So just well, it's it easy to use on so many different craft projects, isn't it? And it's such a nice touch. Such a professional finish as well. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Kirsty. That's what we've got time for here today, but stay tuned for more exciting demonstrations. See you next time.